Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory. Um, like I promised, I'll be working today on our SIF system. Um, you know, it's not gonna be fully automatic, but at least it's something to start up, you know, with your few days of the Sky Factory. Um, you know, look at that beautiful sun right there. Everything is wonderful on this map right now. I am loving the series right now so far. Also, I've been getting some feedback from you guys. I believe um, one of the members that told me was Monkey. Monkey told me that there's some challenges on this actually Skype, um, this mod pack, and I will try to do those. But today, like I said, we're gonna be working on our sieve system. Um, it's not gonna be something that, you know, I guess fancy and stuff, but it's going to be a lot of, at least something to start with um, the series. So let's see here. Um, like I said, we're going to craft an autonomous activator. Basically, what this does is um, a way to make the sieve system automatic. Like, basically, the machine is going to be next to each other and it's going to be basically doing this for me instead of doing it by myself. So let's see here. Let's craft one of those. Let me grab the materials here. Um, so as you can see, I've been a lot of, a lot of saving to get this. Uh, you can see here. Oops, sorry, my phone. <laughs> um, but as you can see, is I I actually had to um, break cobble into uh, gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust because dust is the only way you can get um you can the only way you can get um redstone. Like you see, there's a thirteen percent of getting redstone if you use dust because we need redstone for this. So let me show you. Uh, there you go. So we're gonna need a tin, which I already got, a piston, a chest, and a nomadic servo. So to craft a nomadic servo, you're gonna need glass, which I already got. I got a stack of sand. So uh, let me craft one of those. Oops. I only wanted to craft at the minute two activators. So that's the only thing I'm gonna use right now. Let's see, I need a piston. Oops, I need wood. Ah. I need wood, 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 wood. Uh, and I also need cobble. Oh my gosh, I thought I was prepared. Oh my goodness. You know, never. you never knew that you're not prepared. So let's see here. Maybe more. And as you can see, guys, our wonderful um, cobblestone generator is working amazing. Okay, so let's see. Let me craft a. Oops, no piston. Oh no! Come on. And I need this recipe. There you go. So I need two pistons. There you go. Two pistons. And now I think I have everything. Yeah, there you go. So that's two autonomous or whatever the name is activators. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our sieve. Let's let me take it out of here. And let me put something. Let me put a something there. And let me actually take it down here. I wanna put it around this area since here is going to be the cobblestone generator. So let's see. Let me put it there. And actually, ooh. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I apparently my my computer is it's something doing. Um. So let's see here. Let's put that there. And then we're gonna put it anonymous, anonymous, aut autonomous. Oh, actually, let me put it just one block away from it because I don't want it to kind of like all the ores getting you know to the boy so let me put it there and put that there and let me craft more the, you know what I'm not gonna like that so let me put that there let me put that there there you go um so let me make a actually I already got them there you go haha <laughs> These ones, then the beautiful about these things, they don't need any power. So as you can see, these things, let me show you. Let me see. Let me get some gravel. 
Okay, so if I put gravel on these things right here, as you can see, I have it set up as a right click. So right, if you do left click, basically this is going to break this block, but we want it right click. So if we put some gravel here, it's gonna start placing it, like you see right there. And it's basically just keep shifting it. You see, oh, there you go. There you go, that's what I wanted. I want just to be able right now at the moment, obviously we're gonna fully automize this process, but what I want is, I wanna be, you know, getting some gravel, put it in here and maybe doing some other stuff. So, oh, well, we're getting the ores now. We're getting the ores. So, but what I also wanted to craft was a vacuum hopper. A vacuum hopper, it's going to help a lot. Oh, not a vacuum hopper or uh, something like that. It's called a vacuum because what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right here and then put a chest on it so I can actually leave this place and the ores are going to basically go into the hopper or the vacuum and just be automatic put it in a chest. So let's do that. Let's see what I need. I think I need obsidian and I'm actually, guys, I'm going to show you how to make obsidian. So let's see here. I need a vacuum hopper. Vacuum, here it is. And I need a hopper, obsidian, and, and an ender pearl. So, hopper, I need another chest. Do I have enough for a chest? Yes, there you go. So, and I have enough, I think I do. Yes, I do. Ender pearls, I have tons of ender pearls. I have two stacks by now, which is awesome because I've been killing a lot of mobs. And now, obsidian, okay. What we're going to do is, I'm gonna need a stone barrel. Stone barrel. Oops, no. And this is just this is just mood stone and slab slab. So let me craft me let me put this to cook. And I think I already have some somewhere. Yeah, I'm here. So I can make the slabs with this right there. And let me make the stone barrel. I already have some lava ready for it. Let me see right here. Where's my bucket? Let's see. It's right here. So I already have lava. It's getting ready. And I guess let me place it right here. Um, let's place it right. Oops, no. I don't want that. I don't want that to be there. So... Uh, Right there. Let's place it right there. There you go. That should be nice. Mm -hmm. Let's go get the barrel done. Uh, how many do you need? Three and three. I need one more. Hurry up. Okay. So, stone barrel. And there you go. Now, with the stone barrel, this the stone barrel can hold lava. So, if you put a bucket of lava there, you know, right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make... I'm going to grab a water bucket and just place it up somewhere. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a block there. Just place it right there. And it's going to turn it into obsidian. And then just right click and then you go. You have your piece of obsidian. Nice. I will actually, oops, no, okay, so let me place that there, oh, that was a total mistake, hmm, okay, no, that's gonna break, oh, I'm so dumb, eh, I can, I can work on this later, um, so now I have my obsidian, I have my hopper so I can make the vacuum now. So let's go to the vacuum. Vacuum. Oops. Nope. And there you go. Vacuum hopper. Oh yeah, it is a vacuum hopper. And now let me make a chest. Let me make a chest. But I'm gonna make a different chest. Since I'm gonna be doing a lot of sieving, I want this chest to be full and big. So I'm gonna make an iron chest, which is you know we can it can hold more than a regular double chest actually even though it's a single chest it holds more than you know it holds more than that 
So let me place that there. Let me place the iron chest there. As you can see, all the space here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, four. So it's basically more than a double chest. Yeah, is that correct? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Let's 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 test this. Uh, I actually never thought of um, if it's bigger than a double chest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, it's actually the size of a double chest. Hmm. But it only uses the space of one chest. Meh. Meh. That's okay. I don't care. So what the vacuum hopper does is, let me show you. I'm gonna connect it to this chest. So if you go to the you know the main menu and you click right here, you can actually see where it's facing. So if you click right here. You're gonna see something is gonna pop out right there and then stuff is gonna go on this chest right there so if we test it out uh let's see let me grab more or oh, actually i can just show it to you like this so let me just throw this into the air like you can see the hopper got it and then he's just placing it right there oh it looks cool inside look look it looks like it has a little texture so if we want to do this right now, let's see, let me see. Let me get a ton and tons of gravel. Uh, let me get tons of gravel. Oh, it's frozen. No, my computer is not working. Why do you hate me, computer? Uh, for some reason, my computer is not working. Okay, so now let's place this right there. And since I have two autonomous activators, this process is a little bit faster than it should be. You know, just with one regular, um, you know, with just one. I can actually add another one there and put one in front and actually move this up to make it faster. But since right now I'm limited on resource, look, I don't have more iron anymore. But look, the system is working. You know, probably soon enough we're going to get some... Um, more materials so I can start working on other stuff. Um, and, you know, ah, ah, I forgot. So hopefully guys, you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry, this is just a little bit short video, but right now, you know, work and stuff, it's, you know, getting on, on my time, so I cannot play it a lot. But, you know, hopefully this helps you, you know, getting started on your Sky Factory series. Um, if you enjoyed, you know, the video, please, you know, leave a like and a comment. It's always appreciated. Oh my gosh, it's frozen. No, I'm back. Okay. So, a like is appreciated, guys. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If this is the first time you see my video, don't forget to subscribe if you want to enjoy more about my content. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.